Hello, everyone. This is a student game project of BA Media Program, University College London, and we are the Great Group Team Four. Welcome to our game. So you could see this big welcome here. Under it is the name of our game, Memory Stranding. By the way, the aesthetic of our game is memory loss, and the mechanic is timer. So the player could see this first instruction in the center of the screen. Touch the box. Following this instruction, a memory box could be found. When the player contact the box, some texts will show up. Remember nothing? Good. See the timer? When time runs out, this word will collapse. You'd better recall everything before that happens. Now cross the gate. So this basically reminds the player of the existence of the timer on the top of the screen. And also inform players that they should contact boxes like this to get back their memories. After we cross that gate, we could find the memory box too. You're obviously a robot created by someone, but who get more memory fractions by finding more boxes in this maze? You could see that the players not only get the memories from the boxes, but also some instructions about what to do next. And we could find another box here in the maze. Who are created by human? What is human? We often use some questions like this in the boxes to evoke players to explore this world. Here we could find the time box. It basically gives the player more time when player contact it like this. This will make the following solve the game a bit more easier. Before we get out of this maze. We could find another memory box here. Your creator, human, is an intelligent civilization living on a planet named Earth. Why did they create you? I think we could find the answer after we get out of this maze. This passage has a cool visual effect, like a space tunnel, and the player will be transferred to a new scene. The player could see four memory boxes here. Each one with a challenge to stop the player from contacting the box. For the first one, there is a rotating wood, which could push away the player. The players have to keep jumping over it to get the memory. It's good to see you come out of that maze. Human created you to help them figure out something. What is that? And the next one is a bit similar, but the wood is moving back and forth instead of rotating. Earth is suffering from suffering from what? A catastrophe. Good. The next one is a lot more easier. The player only needs to run with the box to get the memory fraction, like this. The resource on Earth has been exhausted. Where could human find more resource? We could find the answer in the last memory box, which is different from all others. The information is put on the texture of this box, so the player has to pull the box out to read it, and has to try to get out of this circle too. So we first try to pull this box out. You could see that it's not easy to do so. Okay, then we jump out of this circle. Then we could see the taxis on the box. Human space probes found a new planet, which might be exploitable. But how could you help? Cross that portal on the rock. Following this instruction, the player could easily find this obvious portal here on the rock, which could transfer the robot to the next scene. This scene is floating in the air. Going down to the slate, the player could find the memory box nine. Human needs you to be the pioneer to explore the new planet. Jump into the floating cave to take the final challenge. So the following is not only the last, but also the most creative section of the whole game. After jumping into this floating cave, the player could not move because the friction of the cave is very small. Therefore, the player will drop out of the cave in seconds. And due to a lot of calculation, 
the player will drop exactly onto this rotating slate. The player should wait till one angle of this slate is pointing to the spears and jump to the spears to move on, otherwise the robot could easily drop and lose the game. You should be really proficient to jump through these rotating spears successfully. After that, the player should jump onto a very steep slate. Be careful and don't slide down. Then we come to this final challenge, shaking stairs. All of these stairs are moving at high speed, but the speed and the range of their movement are different. So the player will feel very faint and could not tell the edge of the stairs. Thus, the robot could easily fall. I am doing this easily because I practiced many times. And by the way, because I'm really proficient, there will be plenty of time left I finish the game, but it is not easy for normal players. We got the ultimate memory here. Congrats, HMS 2050X7011. This is your code. We humans produced many generations of robots to find the perfect android, which could undertake this exploration mission. Then we built this world to find the one, which is you. You are the only one that manages to reach here within the time limit. You deserve all your memories. Please enter the portal and move on for your mission. We need your help. Human. So, this is basically a summary and conclusion of all memory fractions. Robot is created by human to explore the new planet, and this world is a test for it to prove its capabilities. Because the player wins the game, the robot gets all its memories. And this story is inspiring and warn people to save the resource on Earth, so it's also educational. Then we enter this final portal, and this game comes to an end. Here shows our gratitude to the players, thanks for playing. But do not quit, this is not the real end. If you get to the other side of the wall, and turn around, you'll find the Easter egg here. These are the names of the game developers. We are Timothy Ni, Abby Kong, and Kai Hua Dong. Again, we are great group Team 4. And we really want to thank the support of University College London, especially the BA Media Program. We also want to say thank you to our tutors, Yelena and Christopher. Thanks for your help and patience. That's really helpful. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching.